Well, it's certainly one of the hottest state Senate races in West Virginia this year. Republicans are looking to take another seat away from Democrats in District 8, and there are four candidates from the GOP on the ballot. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. Former delegate Joshua Higginbotham served five years in the House. He's now seeking a Senate seat with his focus on the state's economy. Eliminating the income tax is one of my top priorities. Uh, if, if we raise the sales tax, it'll allow us to have our budget remain completely neutral. And uh, the average West Virginian could save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year. Attorney Mark Hunt spent 14 years in the House of Delegates as a Democrat who now has switched parties. He, too, wants to fix the economy. The way we create jobs is to improve our infrastructure. It's all about building new things. If we build it, the old saying, they'll come. So we have to improve our broadband. We have to improve our our tax uh, base. Why are Certified you business coach and entrepreneur Andrea so Kiesling yeah. is also big on economic development. The elimination of income tax, uh, if we are able to pass that legislation and become the 10th state in the nation to adopt that and eliminate income tax, as we have seen from the other nine states that have done so, that really drives and explodes population growth. But former coal miner and laborer Mark Mitchum wants more focus on those in poverty or facing tough times. I think if we can get more jobs in this state and try to help people get off the drugs, this name get them a job somewhere, not treat them like they're dirt. The district includes portions of Kanawha, Putnam, Jackson, Clay, and Roan counties. The Republican primary winner will face incumbent Democrat State Senator Richard Lindsay in November. With this race, Republicans are hoping to pad the supermajority they already have in the state Senate. At the Capitol in Charleston, Mark Curtis, 13 News. So right now, West Virginia Republicans hold 23 state Senate seats to 11 for the Democrats.